Okay, Carl, so where are we now? We're at Abergavenny Castle on a lovely sunny day. It's really nice here too, but it's freezing. Freezing. Got my gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Carl? So if you notice, they've cut all the trees back. Yeah. And they're all re-sprouting, that's cool. All right, okay. Yeah, I bet they've seen some things, haven't they? We're now at the uh, the lawn area outside the small castle here in Abergavenny. We're currently looking at uh, one of the small churches here in Abergavenny from the, uh, the castle as well. Do you know what church that is called? Isn't it the town hall building? No. no? There's a town hall building oh, over there. That's St Mary's. That's St Mary's. St Mary's. It's got to be St Mary's, isn't it? The town hall buildings. Mm. That building over that's, there with a the copper roof. That's, that's St Mary's, that's St Mary's and the tithe barn. Yep. And then you're right, that's the that's the um town hall. Town hall with the, with the copper roof. Yep. And that's the tree, the famous <laughs> Alec of any tree. <laughs> hey Carl! <laughs> okay, this is my um I've been in the house now for most of uh, the month of uh, December, well actually all of December. The last few days I've started to um, get out of the house to try and get some fresh air. It's been uh, a real challenge the last few days, or oh, last few weeks I should say really, because um, I've been in terrible pain and the um, doctors have been very kind and they've given me lots of painkillers and injections and things to put under my tongue. Thank God the uh, pain has um, subsided now after a month or so and so I'm currently out now whenever I can to try and get some good old fresh air. Let's try and catch up with Colette now, shall we? What have you found, Carl? Oh, a big old. <laughs> <laughs> a big drop. I think I'm not going to see you at the end. Oh. Cool, isn't it? That's a yeah, little bit of a drop. You can see that. Yeah. Okay. That's the um, skirred, and one of them is the sugar loaf, isn't it? Okay. We usually climb up then, but we haven't been up there for a while. No? Right. Blow me a kiss. Who loves you, babe? You do. Oh, all right. Great, there's loads of benches and stuff here to sit on. I didn't even realise that. Oh, look. It's the lesser spotted Mike <laughs> in his Russian hat. <laughs> we can barely see him because the tree's quite dark, but he is there. I assure you, he is there. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> That's enough. We're on the, on the branch. We're now seeing views of Abergavenny we've never seen before. <laughs> I don't want to sit by Michael, I got my own bench. Bye! You see sights of Abigail? We've never been up this part before. What have you found now? I'm just saying those are retirement um, flats. Oh. Normally we're way down there when we see them, aren't we? And now okay. we're right up on top of them. You can actually see the courtyard and garages and... Yeah, well normally all the tree trees are in bloom. You can't see anything. You can't see diddly squat. Yeah. That's what it is. I do love living here though. I'll pop over to the uh, castle museum. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, well, down towards the uh, river there. Yeah, this is Mill Street Tower. Okay. So yeah, King um, Charles I visited Abergavenny in 1645 in July. Yeah. And then he went to Raglan Castle, where he stayed until September. Yeah. During that time, he made two further visits to Abergavenny. Yeah. Before he left, he had the living quarters of the castle burnt and the garrison evacuated. Well done, good old King Charles. And what year was that, called? 1645. 1645. Yeah. Anything else interesting on there? Just says it was refortified uh, by the royalists during the Civil War. Yeah. And it might have been used as a bastion for emplacing cannon. Oh. All right. Very important place then. Mm. Very good. This is me taking a video of Mikey now. He didn't really want to be on you because he's still not feeling up to scratch, but he's going to... What do you mean I'm not up to scratch? <laughs> I'm stand, up to scratch. Stand by the portcullis. That's where you belong. Like, behind bars. Yeah. Behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, plenty of moles out down here, Cole. Yeah, I wonder if we can eat moles. What do you think? Going to try. Hey, Mike Bull. What do you think? Shall I eat some of these moles? Come down and catch them at night. Okay, here we have Clet attacking Abercaveni Castle. She's now going up the moat. I can almost see in my mind's eye. They're throwing the uh, spears and stones at her, trying to keep her out of the castle. She's almost there. Oh, now she stopped to take the view in. I don't think she'd make a good attacker of the castle. But she looks good, that's the main thing. <laughs> okay, as you can see, she made it to the top. Well, almost. It's cold. Oh. What's that called? So you can see all the castle meadows flooded. Loads of banks are flooding. Yeah. The cows are sitting down for fine, no, they usually stand up for fine weather and sit down when it's gonna rain, don't they? I still haven't found the zoom on this thing. Oh. Never mind. Well, they're all sitting down down there, aren't they? Yeah, they're sitting down in the rain. Well, it's not raining. Oh, it's not sunny. the rain in the uh, river, sorry. The river. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. the cows normally stand up when there's nice weather, don't they? They're mad cows. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got short legs, it's hard climbing up big steps. What? So when you've got short legs, it's hard climbing up big steps. Here we are now at Abergavenny Castle, looking down on the beautiful views over River Meadows. Abergavenny is truly a beautiful location. What do you think, Carl? Gorgeous, it really is lovely. You forget, it's on your doorstep and you just forget. What is it? It's not Amadou, is it? No? Oh, alright. Let's have a look then. 
the odds on the lookout for Amadou. Oh no. No, it's just fungus, isn't it? That's um, not good. No. Not good at all. I didn't touch it anyway. Don't you touch mm. it now. Yeah, that's just um, gone off uh, oak mushroom fungus. Horrible stuff. Mm. Michael? I said if they didn't have the please do not climb on the castle walls sign there, uh, <laughs> the urge to climb <laughs> the steps and stuff is phenomenal. Yeah. I would probably do it. <laughs> <laughs> but because the signs are up, I yep. won't do it. You have to be, be good. good. You have to be good. Yeah. Oh, we're back to the car now, Cole. Yeah. Well, this is our little trip down to Abergavenny. It's uh, a nice place. It's called Abergavenny Castle. I need you to put the stone wall we're back up. Now. in the month of uh, November, end of November, and uh, it's been a fun time. Been out for a few minutes, trying to get some fresh air, trying to get some oxygen into me. So happy that uh, the pain of the last four or five weeks has uh, enabled me to get out of the house now and start living a life again. I hope and pray that it'll be a long time before those cluster pains come back again. This is Mike, very, very happy to be out of the house, uh, very, very happy to be amongst the land of the living again. Right, Carl, come on. Time to go! I probably look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer now because it is freezing. We're going on our wonderful shopping excursion now to Aldi's. Yay! Where are we off to, Cole? Aldi's! You love Aldi's, don't you? Yeah, I love their chocolate, yeah. Their food is fantastic. No, chocolate. Anybody still shopping in Asda's, Tesco's, Waitrose? <laughs> Richards, any of those shops, think about going to Aldi's. I'm getting in the car, I'm freezing. Okay. <laughs> and this is a farewell to Abergavenny Car Park, Castle car and Museum. Door. What's that called? Open the car door. What's it worth? Please. What's it worth? Mwah. Open okay. the car door.